we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father of blessings, Father, you still forgive us. Father, you make anyone do well. As much as we love you, that's how much you give to us. How much have I loved God? And today, how am I going to live? Everything that I do is ruin. Everything that I do is trials and you fall into snares. At this dawn, may you entrust everything. And may we be a blessed man who receives the blessings that Jehovah has prepared. Every time we're a blessed man, we receive curses and persecutions. You've taught us this which is so precious. It's by the Spirit that we have to kill the flesh. Which way am I going? Why do I just let my family remain in darkness? Why is it that I just let my children remain in their suffering? I've made it like that. And instead of realizing, why is it that I'm grumbling? The whole world is for my sake. May this promised word become mine. May our families change to bright light and those those filthy disasters and curses that come from our ancestors, may they depart. And within happiness, may our children receive freedom. May we receive all the blessings that Jehovah has prepared and become a blessed family. With wisdom, may we give benefit to our neighbors. May we be a prophet, a patriot to our country. And may we receive that amazing promise where we contribute to mankind. Is there anyone who has discomfort, may they be healed. With Almighty God's help, may everything be solved. And within satisfaction, may we live singing praises in Jesus' name. We thank you and bless. Amen. Please repeat after me, sheep. If you become a sheep, everything works out. But it's because you're a goat, you do things by your strength. That's why you're ruined. Why is it that we can't receive Almighty God's help who's helping at dawn? You know, what we see with our eyes is our flesh, but this is just a vessel. It's just a vessel that contains the true me. It's not me. That's Isaiah chapter 64, verse 8. But you just think the vessel is important, but you're not, you don't have the true self inside. And this is where your life is, becomes a failure. Let's find Romans chapter 6, verse 13. You know what's most regretful? He only gives as much as you love. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. But you so don't love God. It's because I'm filthy, I can't love him. He gives as much as you love. So who is it that I like to um, spend time with at church? It's always someone who's exactly like me. It's truly like with like. So because it's like with like, if I'm right with that person, well, I have a log in my eye, but I can't see that, but I can see that person's speck. So if I'm right with that person, you need to realize, oh, I'm this type of person. Why is it? Am I going the way of curses and disasters? What, what, what's going to happen to me and my children today? Who is it that I have a good relationship with? That's how you know it will happen exactly. You know, if there's family fights or why did you like why why did you fight? Oh, it's because of money. Well, what are you going to do with that money? Oh, to wear nice clothes, to eat well, to live well. That's a beast. You know, you become a president of a country and you steal, steal, steal. Why? Because you want your family to eat well. They're, they're, they're completely like beasts. So if you're tied up to money, that's the most filthy person. But all the churches, they're fighting because of money. It is so base. It is so low. It is, you can't even look at it. You know, God's, uh, God, if you just love God, God gives everything. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 21. So why can't you receive this blessing? Because of this. God helps at dawn, but it's this Romans chapter 6, verse 13 that you can't do. Let's read together. 
And do not go on presenting the members of your body to sin as instruments of unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. Amen. So I'll read it. And, well, and what? Well, it's because of sin. This sin, because it enters inside of you, it it becomes a king over you and you're used for evil. So Proverbs chapter 18 verse 1, that tiny drop of greed. But greed just pours out of our hearts, starting from evil thoughts. So 10,000 just pour out at once. You know, some religions, you know, they talk about 108 mental anguishes, but the first thing that comes out of our heart is evil, and it has 10,000 roots, Matthew 15, verse 19. So think about the branches and the fruits. If you think of a tree, how many branches does it have? How how many f- fruits does it bear? So if there's 10,000 roots, then how how much sin is there? But with the blood of Christ, that all disappears. So on TV, you see there's a bit of ink on a shirt and then you put something on it and it all disappears. Well, you know, people don't watch TV at our church, so. But I don't know what what they're using, but on a shirt, there's some there's an ink stain. It, that's that that shirt is completely ruined but you know they don't they don't you know they don't wash it with some lye or something they just they just use something on it and i thought it's because we can't realize how the blood of christ just washes us but that's what comes out on these tv advertisements you know that's that's not as good as the blood of christ the blood of christ is better if you if you use that blood of Sprite, so that those clothes they it still ends up second hand but with the blood of christ instead of second hand you become new there is no past so that's what this dawn is this is the blessing we have to receive and we have to go with a new start a completely new so that's what god does so now the world keeps showing that through science so soon there's going to be an advertisement where where instead of saying oh look it's you know second hand this is going to become new so that's so that's the blood of christ so why is it you're still sitting with your disease you haven't repented you're not believing you're not acknowledged that god is almighty and that's why you're a sinner john chapter 6 16 verse 9 you say oh but i did that's a lie why is it that you're so weak oh i've got cancer so you're holding on to those thoughts that you have cancer so when have you become new in christ you don't even have a tiny bit of heart where you don't have cancer and then you say you've repented that's a complete lie so your conscience you're just lying and that's why you don't do well and what's it because of it's here because of your flesh this dawn my wife told me not to come how much is she thinking of me she knows how tired i am and she's weary too so she says you know just sleep but when I hear that, if I'm far away, then and I can't come, you know, even when I was in Chipungyong, I spent the whole night coming here, and you know, we sped here to to get here for dawn service, and God, you know, He allowed us to get here on time. But if I'm further away, if there's some event, then I can't come. But when I hear those things, that's when I realize Satan's trying to make me fall. If people try to, if people make your body comfortable, you're so thankful for that. Why? Because you have demons. So when my wife says that, I say thank you. Well, because everything is Thanksgiving. So then I, I think, well, if I want to win over this, 
I can't sleep from, you know, the early evening. And, and I don't sleep. And then I don't fall. If I just say I'll sleep a little bit, then already the, the bell for dawn's passed and, and the sun, the sun's beating on my face. You know, when the sun first rises, it's just, it pushes your bottom. But if you still don't get up, then it starts to beat your face down. That's what happens. So, so when you miss out on dawn service, what happens to you and your children? And things don't do well. So it's because of verse 13. So, and do not go on presenting the members of your body. So this, this body has to be clean for the Holy Trinity to be contained. But here it says, in to sin as instruments of unrighteousness. So if you don't repent of your sin, you let that sin remain, then already you're unrighteous. You're hindering the gospel. Romans chapter 1 verse 18, which is this death sentence. That's what you're using your body for. So here, it's it's not, what's an instrument? It's It's also killing others. It's not just killing yourself, but you kill your children, you kill others. So you become an instrument of evil. It's not just give it to, to evil. Here it says an instrument. You're used as a weapon. So if you're not repenting, you ruin yourself. You ruin all of your family. And even the company that you go to will be ruined. So your company and your, con your country being ruined, it's because of evil. If you're ruining your family, you ruin others. And it's not just other people's families. If they become some government worker or they work for the country, they ruin the country. So 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19 to 20. So it's not these tests of becoming a government official who can lie more. But after becoming a gov government official, to not be tied to your body, to wash with the blood of Christ, someone who can rule over their body. You know, in Asian philosophy, they talk about someone who makes themselves clean. So you yourself have to be clean in order to make your home and your country at peace. But there's no way to do this. Yes, we have those, those characters for that, but a, there's no medicine, there's no way to make yourself clean. It's only by the blood of Christ, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. It's only by the blood of Christ that can, we can wash away our sins. So at this dawn, we have to live. From this dawn, we have to live with God's help. If this, if we can do this, everything will work out. So God has prepared everything. And he wants everything for us to do well. But it's our body. It's the members of our body. It's not just evil. It's an instrument of evil. In a war, these weapons, they always harm others. And that's how filthy our body is. And that's why Romans chapter 8 verse 13, if you live by the flesh, you will surely die. Your enemy is your flesh. But, you know, calculate how much you've spent on cosmetics. And what about how much, how much have you spent feeding yourself? And, and the clothes that, you, that you've bought. And, you know, how much you've spent going back and forth to, to school. But, but God says, your whole, your body, it's not, that's not what's important. It's what's contained inside. You know, in a plastic packaging, it's not that packaging that's, that's expensive. It's the gold inside. So what is contained inside is what is important. And that is, it's the most expensive thing. Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. And that is, is a treasure. It's Jesus Christ, which is a treasure. If you have that treasure in your heart, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 67, but we don't know what the treasure is. So this body... Do not give it as, as instruments of righteousness. So where I kill myself, I kill my children and others. But present yourselves to God as those alive from the dead. So this is the mystery of Christ. But present yourselves to God as those alive from the dead. This is the mystery of Christ. Luke 
chapter 24, with three, within three days. So people, they make all these days. They say it's this day or that day. With four-step repentance, I have to always be alive. I have to be alive now. So they, they think of Easter as some event. You know, let's gather at this sporting ground and, you know, it's where the dead becomes alive. This amazing working of four-step repentance within, th- within three days, I live to realize, to live, to get up and to become someone who gives thanks but present yourselves to God as those alive from the dead. Why are we dead? Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1, because of our ancestors' sins. And my sins, we seem to be alive, but we're dead. So if we wash this with the blood of Christ, he'll make us alive. And after we're alive, we get up. That's Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 and 6. We have to get up to go toward the light. If you don't even know this mystery, Isaiah Chapter 60, verse 1, it says, Awake and, you know, go to the light. Look to the light. It doesn't even make sense. You're not even alive. And then you say that you've listened to a sermon. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. That's why those who say it and those who hear it, it's they're the same. You're going to hell. Why? Because you can't become alive with the mystery of Christ. And that's why your life doesn't change. But here, it's made it so that you can't change. But present yourselves to God as those alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. So, instead of sin, which is an instrument of evil. So, today, you'll be one or the other. If you're an instrument of of sin, then you'll kill yourself and others. But if you're an instrument of righteousness, then you'll save yourself and others. So you'll go one of these two ways. And that's why in front of you, there's blessings or curses. You have to take one of them. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. So let's greet the person next to us. You are truly blessed. So we're truly blessed. We're truly blessed. What a precious promise this is. But sorry, if you keep missing out on dawn service, they come and then they miss out. Already they've got evil inside of themselves. They they don't do well. So they're not doing well. Their family's not doing it. They don't know. They don't know why they're not doing well. And that's why there are beasts that is perishing. If you knew why you're not doing well, then you'd go the right way. But they they don't present themselves to God. If you come and receive the promises that God has given, what if you're thirsty and you, you receive that drop of water, you, you're so thankful. But someone who doesn't know how to be thankful for that water, they'll just dry up. You see people who don't do well, that's their actions. They call themselves a deacon at our church and they're not doing well. You look at them. You know, when we greet each other, you can see, oh, that person who's not here, that's me. If you look at that person, you know, they always come if the pastor's here. So they're here double-mindedly. So already when they're sitting here, they're sitting cursedly because their heart's like that. So let's see. Let's see after you suffer what happens to you. And their family doesn't do well. And yet they still cannot realize and they don't repent. But people who do well, as much as you love God, you do well. It's as much as you love God. It's not because I'm Pastor Park. Oh, it's because you're Pastor Park and you love me, I'll give you more. No. Ezekiel chapter 3. It's it, No matter what you do, it's a, as much as you love God. So there is no disadvantage. So why look at others? Why look at man? It's between me and God. So where am I giving my flesh to today? So if we don't do four-step repentance without the blood of Christ, we'd all be slaves of sin. We are using our bodies as instruments of unrighteousness. We're using it in a filthy way, as a bomb, an instrument. It's a weapon. That's what they use in the army. It's used in a filthy way for evil. And that's what you become. But the way to change this, Christ resurrecting after three days to be alive again from the dead. That's Let's find Luke chapter 24. This is such an amazing promise. 
but to not make this mine. Why is it that I'm not receiving blessings and I still have the difficulties in my family? My children don't do well. Luke chapter 24 from verse 44. Okay, we don't have time, so let's let's read from verse 45. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. So, so that's what it's saying in verse 44. So God opens their minds. When? It's after you wash with the blood of Christ. These fakes who attend church, they say, God is with me. Well, how? It's, because, it's when Christ is inside of me that God is with me. But they don't even know the mystery of Christ and they say God is with them. And so they lie so badly. They keep saying, so verse 46, and he said to them, thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise again from the dead the third day. So forced at repentance, Christ, the Son of God, the mystery of Christ, after three days, he rises up again. So this is the only way. So in three days, the first day you realize your sins, the second day with the blood of Christ you ask forgiveness to God, and the third to wash your hearts. Nehemiah chapter 9, the sign of Jonah, after three days, it's not Jesus, but the blood of Christ, forced at repentance. 47, and that repentance for forgiveness of sins. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7, only the blood of Christ gives us forgiveness of sins. And that repentance... So if you want forgiveness of sins, the only way is repentance. So Easter is not some event. Even now, after after you repent three days, when you give thanksgiving and miracles happen like Jonah, and then we get up, we rise up, that's when we become an instrument of righteousness. If we live like this, then the disasters in your families will depart. And so then... God hears the prayers of the righteous, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 24. So in the third day, and we'll be, pre- so after three days, after rising up again, four-step repentance. Why do we call it four-step repentance in Nehemiah chapter 9? It's after thanksgiving that it becomes four-step repentance. So rising up, rising is on the third day. So Christ is not someone who gives thanks. He receives our thanks. He only had to do three days. But for us, we have to give thanks because we're not Christ. So Christ, after the third day, he rises to receive our thanks. And we have to give thanks so that miracles happen like Jonah. And that's why God has appointed these these four four steps. And so, and that repentance for forgiveness of sins will be proclaimed. So this forgiveness of sins is something we receive. That is what repentance is. People say they're repenting, but they don't do four-step repentance. This is what Christ did. How can we be better than Christ and not follow after four-step repentance? And yet people expect to live, and that's why they're fake. And that's why a sermon without Christ is fake. Those who say it and those who hear it will go to hell, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. So when you preach the gospel, what is it that you say? You only say the mystery of Christ, Colossians chapter 4, verse 3, but they don't. And so repentance will be proclaimed in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. So only, so our body that used to be a slave of sin, after the third day, Christ rose and to become a new man. This, If we obey this promise with the blood of Christ, then we become an instrument of righteousness. Our body will change. And when it changes, because I'm clean, then this clean treasure of, of the Holy Trinity will be contained in here. So all this time, me not doing well, is because I haven't repented. If my disease isn't healed, I haven't repented. They, You listen to that person, they only talk about the disease, but they don't talk about God's healings. What is disease? People who don't have disease, because they, don't, they know that they don't have disease, they'll say, oh, I don't have disease. But someone who's tied to the disease, who are slaves to the demons, they're like, oh yeah, I have cancer. 
They're always like that. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. Their thoughts don't change. They're still doing those actions of demons. And then they say they've done four step repentance. When does four step repentance tie you up to those thoughts? I'm a new creation. In Christ, I'm a new creation. I am not second hand. I'm a new creation. I'm a new person. And this is where miracles happen. Let's obey God's word and let's be witnesses of all things. And may we, our children, do well. And may we be patriots. I bless this in the Lord's name. Still, we can do well. All we have to do is four step repentance. Let's all pray. Father, this precious promise is mine. But because I don't obey, I just pretend to obey. But my thoughts and my actions, oh, I still have disease. And I still live according to those actions. And God says, well, according to your thoughts and your heart, I will do it. And then I say that I'm a new person in Christ because I've done four-step repentance, that I've had a new start. So I've got these wrong thoughts. At this dawn, may we awaken from these wrong thoughts. May we have a new start. I've never been sick. I don't have any discomfort. In Christ, I'm a new person. I will only love God. According to the Father's word, by four-step repentance, may we all live. And in all things, God, there is nothing impossible with him. May we be wit- may we all become witnesses. My family has been blessed. My children are blessed. My family will do more well. With this promised word, may we all become witnesses. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. <laughs>